And now I'm joined by District Attorney Fitzpatrick. You said earlier in your press conference this, uh, this investigation is going to be over on the state level as far as um, Bernie Fine. Clay, that's correct. Unless uh, a new victim comes forward, one of the reasons I went public today was to try to encourage people to come forward. And one of the ways I do that is by validating what Bobby Davis and Mike Lang had to say. I want people to know that people in authority believe these two young men, and I hope that encourages anyone else who may have been a victim to come forward. Uh, absent a new uh, victim coming forward, the state investigation is complete. There are no further allegations to investigate, and we are uh, turning all of our information over to the United States Attorney, who is pursuing possible uh, allegations uh, regarding Zach Tomaselli in the city of Pittsburgh. Now, as far as the investigation with Zach Tomaselli, your office will be turning over documents to help aid in that case. Could you talk a little well, about those? Yeah, there's a statutory and constitutional obligation that prosecutors have. If I find evidence that's favorable to the defense, I must, as a matter of law, turn that over to defense counsel. And what I've notified defense counsel, I'll be turning over to them, number one, travel records from Syracuse University, uh, number two, hotel records regarding Bernie Fine's stay in Pittsburgh back in 2002, and thirdly, uh, the Copenhagen school records when Zach uh, Tomaselli was a student there, was he or was he not in school on January 22nd, 2002. I've turned that material over to defense counsel. U.S. Attorney either, either already has it or they'll be receiving it from me and they'll make use of it as they see fit. So what is the next step for your office then? Nothing to do uh, with this case right now whatsoever until and unless the United States Attorney notifies me that they've uncovered evidence of a state crime. And you mentioned beforehand defending Coach Beheim and Chancellor Kanner with the, with the way they've handled this investigation. You know, in hindsight, could they have done things differently? Sure. But uh, when you talk about Chancellor Cantor, she's been incredibly cooperative with my office uh, with this new resurfacing these allegations. Uh, the only mistake she made, in my judgment, back in 05, was she trusted that the report was thorough. It, it, it was not. It was not a full and complete report. I mean, that should be obvious to anyone. Uh, as far as Coach Beheim, look, everybody here uh, is tripping over themselves to indicate that they didn't do anything wrong. We should have. Uh, we didn't think we should turn over the tape when we had it. We did everything right. And the only guy that's manned up and said, you know, I screwed up. I made a mistake. Was Jim Beheim. And he deserves credit for that. And, and more importantly, Bobby Davis and Mike Lang think he deserves credit for that. They're the ones that were hurt by what he said a week ago, and they're the ones that have been uh, reassured and empowered by what he said just a couple of days ago. So, so good for him. So what, if anything, can be learned from this whole experience? Well, uh, there's plenty to be learned from it. Number one, police departments should share uh, files with the DA's office. We wouldn't probably be uh, involved in a lot of the things that we've been involved in here. Uh, when you have a victim of sexual abuse, as you have to proceed carefully, but make sure you document what the person says. Make sure you encourage the person to come forward and make sure you try to corroborate uh, what the person said because you don't want other children to be left at risk. And at the end of the day, we do a pretty good job here in Onondaga County, and I, I think the nation uh, is going to see that. All right. Thank you very much, Clay, Mr. You. District Attorney. Okay, Take care. Good to see you.